All right, all right, we're gonna get started. Hi guys, hello Twitch, hello YouTube community. Welcome back to Foodie Talk, the hottest new podcast where we sit with beautiful, successful, talented women. We talk about fun topics, share inspirational stories, and we even play fun, steamy games, depending on her mood, of course. We don't know yet, halo or horns, yes. This is Kuzi Talk, episode 57. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, shout out to Kila Mandala, Sit Mandala. Cheers, beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn, my drink is strong tonight, in a good way. And I'm smoking, yes. You know how I do. All right, so I want to introduce my beautiful guest. Yes! I'm so excited I have her on here, Ashley. Thank yes. You. She is an attorney, she's a manager, she does it all, honey. She's smart, she got the brains. I know that's right. She's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and she's a Virgo. Yes. Now, are you an August Virgo or September? September, September there is, Virgo. There is, what day? There is so you're none a Beyonce of that. Virgo. September Virgo. Okay, Virgo. like Beyonce. Wow. Big seven. Big seven. seven. Yes. Lucky number. It is. Yes. All right. Okay, so we're going to get, wait, before I even start asking her some questions, I want to say hi to the chat. What's up, Farm Life? Hearts, hearts, hearts. Day one, Ross Swagger, RNGZ, Hubby, Dre, Shank, Nina the mom, and everybody watching. Thank you for tuning in. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like I said before, okay. this beautiful queen is a lawyer, honey. She's an attorney. Yeah, so we're going to ask her some lawyer questions. And we're also going to ask her manager question because she manages artists. Oh, Marco. But this is not, this What's does that? not count as legal advice, nor create an attorney client privilege. Yeah. Thank you. I'm the cookie talk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> First question. What inspired you to pursue a career in law? And how do you choose your specific area of practice? Okay, Which, straight, by the way, she straight, for the, straight for the deep uh, boohoo story. No! Um, I wanted to, I became an attorney because I wanted to help kids. I had a very like rough childhood, a very interesting, different childhood for most people. Yeah. And um, I always wanted to, you know, help kids that were in a similar position. So I was like, I want to be a teacher. And my dad sat me down and I was just like, no. You're not doing that yeah. so figure something else out but yeah. i always like i wanted to work with early childhood i did that all through high school i was going to go to college for it he was like absolutely yeah. not so i'm joining the debate team i'm joining like taking forensics classes law classes at my high school yeah and i went to college and when i graduated i was like do i really want to be a lawyer though because maybe i can help kids there yeah and so I, I was a paralegal for a year and I just decided like, I have to be the one writing my name at the bottom right. of these documents of yeah. all the work that I do and sign yeah. my name. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I went to law school. I was gonna work for um, children in foster care and foster care reform, mm -hmm. Department of Children and Families. That yes. was my whole focus yeah. of my entire life um, in any way. So that led me to be an attorney in the first place. So that's okay. like, you know. Yeah. And she does corporate law. That's what she does. Whew. Yeah. Yes. I do some different stuff besides that now. So what made you choose corporate law? So I gravitated, like, I'm always going to tell this story every day. Everybody who knows me is tired of it, but they love us. My <laughs> sister moved out here first. She's a choreographer. She's a professional dancer. Yeah. She came to L.A. while I was in law school to pursue her career and her dreams. And... I was like, wait a minute, what do you mean they're not going to pay you? Yeah. What do you mean, you know, you, start getting you didn't sign phone. anything? I'm like, send me, send me a phone number, send me an email. And my boss at the time, he was just like, dude, like you're made for this. Go like do that stuff. You can, you can be in the Department of Children and Families when you're 60, when you're past all your, your childhood trauma right. and all these yeah, things. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. don't do that. And I love, I've always had a passion for music. Like that's like my heart so i was just like i'm going over there okay I'll do that i love um, that and it's really just you know working through like deals and negotiating things for companies but also like protecting for corporations but also protecting people like my sister okay. who have no idea what's going on right speaking of which oh let's go to the chat oh we have a poll do you need legal advice if you do, call uh, me. Uh, yes. Call All me. Right. Vote on the poll. Um, my sister is at the ballet B girl. 
the ballet B girl, Shout out which Kristen. means she's technically trained for 24 years now. Yeah. Technically trained for 24 years now. Okay. Wow. Period. Anyway. Yeah. Enough. Enough about me. That brings me to my next question because you said some people, you know, don't know about legal stuff. How to, Ooh. you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let me see. Let me see. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I lost the question. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, what do you think people should Baby Jaden is being born right now. Baby Jaden is being born. I know born you right told now. me about that. You. you want to tell them about that? Yes. So, okay. my stepdad, he's very, like, a pivotal person in our lives he yeah. raises my baby siblings mm -hmm. like he's a really great dad yeah he's having a baby right now in this moment she's a month early but i'm so excited because my the youngest sister out of our mom's yeah. side yeah she's the oldest of five and i'm the oldest of five so i feel like very like we're very much the same Aww. like that's my baby girl so, so the baby's being born right this right second. at this moment that's crazy i know so it's gonna be a libra baby oh, we have i got three babies this year none of them are mine but i got three i got blessed with three babies this year like that's just such a blessing i love that did you, you know? dream about fish you know what they say when, Ooh, you, dream, when you dream about fish i feel like pregnant. i feel like i did this year because i've looked that fish. up before yeah i've looked like damn that's crazy I don't want to yeah. see no more fish. Okay, That's so my fish. back to the legal stuff. So what would you say to someone that may need legal advice but doesn't know how to or look for it or where to start? What's your advice on that? So first of all, Google is your best friend, of course. Yes. Um, you can always Google um, attorney for whatever XYZ. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then it'll pull up at least somebody to call and get a consultation. A consultation is free a lot of the times. You know what I mean? A 15, yeah. a 15 minute consultation is not gonna hurt a firm, a company, a, an individual, an entrepreneur. I have my own firm, so it's like, I will have that consultation with you to see if I can help you. And if I can't, it's cool, you know? Yeah. I will try to find somebody that can, but having that conversation sets you on the right path to Absolutely. being able to find it, whether that person can help you or not. So it really is just a Google search. A Google search. And of course, Instagram, that's my biggest platform. So yeah. I feel like yeah. as long as you have some type of media presence, one of my first clients told me, he was like, you know, you were referred highly by so-and-so, but you didn't have a website when I looked you up. Oh. So like, that's a that's a, a lesson for yeah. business owners. Absolutely. If it's just social Always media. Always have a website, it's a business card. Exactly. It's and your electrical. I like your website. Thank you. Shout out to so good. Shout out Hubby. Hubby did his thing on the website. And when yes. I clicked on the link to send it to people, I was like, wow, they really have their stuff together. This is gorgeous. I love it. Mm -hmm. So branding and trademark your brand. Hubby, Hubby, shout out Hubby for the branding. I gotta I gotta give him I gotta give the credit where it's due, goddammit. I love that. <laughs> so okay. call him. We all need a website. Seriously though. Trademarked, period. Period. Okay. How do you stay motivated and passionate in your profession that can be stressful at times? How do you say motivated wow. and passionate? That's yeah. a really good question. Um, I li I feel like I personally live my life as like the person I am and the position I am in my family and like my friends, like just how yeah. I am. Yeah. I'm always that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The pressure is always on me, you know? So I also like, that's my love language. Right. Because. I may be a little bit rough around the edges, but you you always gonna know I love you because I would do anything for you. Yep. And that's how I feel about my clients. That's how I feel about my friends, my family, You're a passionate person. my artists. I'm a very passionate person. Yeah. And if I love you, Get that. like Shank, I love him. Shout out Shank. Like Air, I love him. My sister, I love her. Like yeah. no matter what it is, I have to keep going because of them. That's the motivation. Yeah. Yeah. And my baby siblings, like when I was back in, in law school, um, I had custody of my baby sister and that's yeah. what I'm saying like that's really my baby like you know right and, there. and that period of my life some people may be like why should you keep talking about that but like that period of my life yeah. was the most motivational and best version of me that there's ever been in X amount of years uh -huh. um, and that's just really it yes. my baby is my family Ooh, my people. cookie gal <gasps> Welcome, welcome to Cooley Talk, girl. Baby. Red hearts for you. She's a very nice and professional website. Thank you, thank you. That's it's good. It's Matias Nerdy, yes. Okay, next question. 
Okay, what's the most important lesson you've learned throughout your legal career? Ooh. I feel like it may not be a legal, a legal advice per se or lesson, mm -hmm. but I've learned that you can't burn bridges in your industry. Right. Any like, industry, right? Yeah. It's so fucking small. Yeah, it is. And I really like, you know, I've made mistakes in my life, but like this industry is unforgiving on the legal side and the entertainment side. Absolutely. So just imagine the niche of the two is this big. Right. It's so little. Yeah. You know, and it's been a rough, a rough five years since I got to L.A. Yeah. I'll tell you. But did you get your license in L.A. or in Pittsburgh? So I went to law school in Florida because I grew up in Florida. Yeah, she was raised in Florida, by the way. I missed that. Um, <laughs> Florida State. Yes, yeah, Orlando. Okay. Um, yes. So to be like to be like doing this out here yeah. is just it's different. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's very different. I would have never thought five years ago or anything I would ever be in LA yeah. or doing this type of stuff. Really? Why? I don't know. It just when you grow up on the East Coast, I feel like it's just so far away. Yeah. You never thought of it. You don't know nothing about it. You yeah. can't explain LA to anybody. Right. Until if you're you grow here. up here yeah. or if like you live here, it's just so different. Yeah. And being in the two industries I'm in, it's like this alternate reality that you can't explain to people on the East Coast or people that aren't here. Okay, so let's talk about the managerial side. So, you know, we talk about the legal stuff. She's That's also- my, This she's is also, my favorite job coming up. Yeah, so this is, she's also a manager. She manages, you know, in entertainment. So what is that like? What do you love about it? What are the pros and cons of being a manager in, in entertainment? So I feel like going back to what I just said about what I do for my people, like, yeah. I truly, truly, truly love what I do. Yeah. And I truly, truly, truly love who I do it for. You know, like there's no better feeling than working with someone that you believe in. Yeah. And that's why I tell people like being a manager, you don't have to have like a, a degree right, in right. business. Right, right. You don't have to have a law degree. You do you have, have to have, have, have an alpha thing. personality and a stern personality. Yes. You have to be kind of the bad guy. Sometimes. Period. Yeah. And so that comes hand in hand with you have to really love or believe in the person that you're working Absolutely. with. Absolutely. And they're Because if you don't believe in them, who will, them. right? Exactly. Yeah. You can learn all the other shit later. Yep. You can read books. You can go to YouTube Facts. University. You Facts. can take a course, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as long as you believe in them and what they're doing and the value of it, yeah. that's all you need to do to be a manager. Absolutely. You know? Because, you know, I always said this, like when I'm in like my 50s or like 60s, I want to be a, like an entertainment manager. Oh, I do, I do. I, it's giving Imagine advice. we was partners. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I want to get into that. That's why I even have this podcast. Like I'm building it, you mm -hmm. know, like it's a platform to promote whatever you're doing, promoting beautiful women that are just doing the damn motherfucking thing. Boss. And you know, aligning my connections. And then when I get to that point in my 50s and 60s, I already got all my relationships and I could plug in my artists. Exactly. And plug in my clients. Exactly. So I, I love that. I love that. Yes. You're built so for how it. How long have you been managing? Um, officially, officially one year okay. this month. Yes. Officially one year. But I've been doing like whenever the pandemic came around, I worked at a talent management company. I was doing talent management. Yeah. Um, you know, I manage a lot of people. I have managed a lot of people without being their manager. <laughs> um, so I've been doing that for a very long time. Yeah. But officially one year okay. as assigned manager to these beautiful people. They're the prophecy, Kyron Shank. Google it, Instagram it. Okay, so I also want to ask you this. Going back to the legal stuff, mm -hmm. um, what would your advice be to aspiring lawyers that are going to school right now, Ooh. studying to take the bar? I have so much to say. Okay. It could be hours, it could be days. Somebody that wants to be a lawyer may be watching. So there's there's a lot of things you have to consider, but the first step is like, do you actually want to be an attorney or not? Because if it's, or not, or if there's doubt, it's like, a don't, passion career for don't sure. do it. Don't yeah, go, it's go, a passion don't go career. through this. Yeah. The, the LSAT, the the law school, the bar exam, the practice, it's very taxing, um, you know? It's, yeah. I, I love what I do, and I don't know that I would do anything else. Because I can't even, see, you can't turn the lawyer off. Yeah. That's the other thing, my first, my first day of law school, they were like, I just want you to know, every single relationship you have in your life is never gonna be the same. Because you can't turn this shit off. Right. 
And that's true. Have you ever, like, like, like let's say you're chilling at, like, a grocery store, you're out and about, do you ever see, like, situations, like, oh, that's a legal situation right there? Oh, I talk shit all the time. <laughs> you peep different things. Uh, Y'all all know this, too. <laughs> so yes. you peep different things, like, oh, that, that right there, that, yes, mm -hmm. that's definitely a legal That's situation. gonna be a lawsuit. So you, that's crazy. Yeah. Absolutely It not. makes you become observant. Yeah. I feel that. Well, all right, that concludes the career questions. And now we're gonna have some fun with Miss Ashley. Oh, shit. And now we're gonna go, aha, not her saying, oh, shit. This is the fun part. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to some fun hot topic questions. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we're gonna start like, kinda. <laughs> kinda. No, was... first we're gonna start with, not dating yet, not dating questions yet, but oh, we're gonna start like, like for example, do you think money buys happiness? Yes. <laughs> I agree with this answer. Yes. I think so too. If you say but no, you're a motherfucking lie. Wait, wait. Especially if you're happy before even having it. If you're happy already without it. First of all, that's illegal. My sister, listen, she'll <laughs> tell you. I'll, listen, I'm suing everybody. Yes. No, so money um, can buy happiness. Yes, because yeah, listen, every time you spend money, you're not happy. First of all, I do. But I mean, live I, no, no, I gotta be honest. Sometimes I get buyer's remorse that in the moment when you're spending when you're like oh i got i got five bands to put on this oh yeah you're so happy when right. you swipe in that moment and then after you i get buyers spend. remorse that's like, damn cool. should i have that's spend cool money but it's on just, that? listen this this the, this the lawyer investigation you gotta zoom in <laughs> you was this happy at the fucking time you swiped your card or handed that fucking yo man listen yo man's card down you're happy in that moment. Nothing else matters. That she has money, a point. she has a point. Money makes you happy. Period. It does. It does. Okay. What would you say is the biggest misconception or common misconception people may have about you? Oh, there's so many. What are they, girl? Ooh. I feel like when people meet me, they think I'm stupid. I didn't get that vibe at all. <laughs> they think I'm just. A lot of people think I'm not a real lawyer until I posted a post today of my, like, that's, it that's was just so insulting. interesting to me. It's, yes, people tell me, like, why are you, why are you a lawyer? You could be this. Why are you a lawyer? You could be a model. What do you mean, why? Because I can. But B, because that's I want bad to. ass that you're a lawyer. And it's in that same breath, exactly. That's like a backhanded thing where you're yeah. also saying, like, lawyers shouldn't look like you. Yeah, which is crazy. So I had to spend I had to spend a lot of time like really sitting with myself and like being authentic to myself. Yeah. That's my baby right there. Like it loves you. Um, you really have to sit down and have that conversation with yourself when you're someone like me, I guess. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So the whole first year of law school, I'm like, I can't get my nails done anymore. I have to, you know, calm down. I have to Did you dress different? I have, to like, I have to like this type of boy. Yeah. So you were completely like conservative. I tried. Oh. I tried so hard. I tried so hard. And then studying for finals that first semester, like I was in the library like 12, 14 hours a day. Wow. And still stressed out about fitting so in. So there was People no girl. Wait, wait, wait. There was no girl on campus that was like, you know. No. Everybody was just regular. <laughs> Not regular. Regular. Y'all know what I mean. Regular, like, regular. Like, if you see, my lashes look crazy. They have butterflies, I promise. I love it. They're bedazzled. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, but, like, I'm sorry you're not, like, me. Fabulous. Yeah. You're not like me. Like, people, when I was in law school and I was like, I want to do entertainment law, and I have my nails like this, and I like who I like, you know, they're like, how were She's the students were with you? Were they yeah. weird with you, or the, were they cool? No, we were cool. I had a bunch. Of, I had a bunch of friends, but we, were, you know, all the black and brown people yeah. are just, you know, their own cohort. Yeah, in, yeah. In all white private yeah. law schools that have only been around, you know, for people who I didn't didn't necessarily feel like I fit in with. Okay. But I felt like I had to like conform. And after that, I was in the top twenty. That semester on, I was in the top twenty percent of my law school. I know that's right. The top twenty percent on the dean's list. Yeah. And this boy comes around second semester and asks me on a date, and this weird girl was like, "Oh, it's just because he found out you were smart." She oh, so because I I look the way I look, I act the way I act, I have fun, I'm this, I'm that. 
I can't be smart. So I've been dealing with that from the beginning. Like from the beginning. Boom! Birth. That's not surprising. It's not. It's not surprising. It's not. Okay. <laughs> What's Sorry. a controversial opinion you have that most people would disagree with? Do you have a controversial opinion that most people would disagree with? Um, leave Diddy's kids the fuck alone. People would disagree with that? Yes. Really? I had to make a, I had to address it. I feel like they should be left alone. They should be, but they're, they're not. The they should be, but they're not. Oh. It's just like imagine. This is the most like imagine being Oh my gosh. I feel like this is this is gonna get political. <laughs> But it is controversial because like I I was with somebody, they're like, oh, I was affiliated with the company, one of the companies, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know if I should be like proud of that or if I should not. Yes, you fucking should. Yeah. Because that was a legacy. And if you didn't, you know, if he wasn't, then whatever. I don't really care about the details, but you should be happy and you should yeah. be proud that yeah. this person, person, this company, these things. And I just feel like it's really unfair yeah. for everything that's going on. You're saying people that are right attached now. to to him right yes. yeah they because don't give like shit for it the, exactly and it's just like okay if something happens to my cousin right now like what does that have to do with me right you know but at the same time it's just like you know no i feel that i feel that actually mm -hmm. all right crazy. if you could change one thing about how society views success what it, what would it be hmm. social media what about it I feel like it validates you when it doesn't have really anything to do with anything. Yeah, because some people can just like not even take it serious. Most people don't. I don't know. Most think. people don't. Right. So it's like you can't really judge someone by do their you know, social media. Do you know on screen time it tells you how many how much time you spend on each app? Yeah, girl. Yeah. I checked my Instagram usage. It was it was high or was it low? I gotta I gotta go to bed. I gotta cancel my service. It was like, high. Woo. I gotta chill out like but at the same time it's where you know my market is it's where like I'm yeah. doing things it's where I'm promoting what I do I'm right you know promoting my artists I spend most of my time promoting other people's things and that's and, what I and do social and media you, you gotta use social media for that right oh, yeah. but I'm spending my time it's just I don't know so you know what of speaking of social media I want to ask you this I don't mean to go back, but I have to go. It made me think about Tell it. The, 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 the law, the law. What do you feel about, um, like, in the courtroom, them using social media in the trial? Oh, uh, we're using it. I know. So oh, we're using it. Oh, so you're for it. You're for it. We're using it. Okay. Why, why are you for it? Because why are you doing... Why are you saying something about someone else and you're on social media doing the same thing and you're there's an act of litigation? But what if, what if it affects you know your what I mean? client? What if it affects your client? It is what it is. That's just what the law is. You can't keep yeah. evidence out. Yeah. If you find it, that's what it is. If you're complaining about, you know, or not having a car they, and they you're on social media driving like yeah. fucking Maybachs or something, I don't know. No, it's just true. like, what are you doing? Okay, or people, but what about when they use the lyrics too, like with artists, ooh. and they use the lyrics against them? Because that's happened. Ooh. Where now they're using lyrics in court to prosecute. So no. I just don't think that's like valid, because speaking from a music industry's perspective, because you're a music in, manager and you're listen, a lawyer. So I've written music myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made music myself. Yeah. I manage artists, and I'm in the studio myself. Yeah. And it's just like there's so much cap. <laughs> and everybody's rap, bro. Yeah. Like, even me. Like, I'm gonna take it before, serious. Before, point, though. I, I use my music to manifest my life. Like, I'm talking about I'm da -da 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 in the bands. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm driving a Ford Fusion. That was my baby. But people like, are she was really a hybrid. I love her. in court over lyrics. Exactly. But I'm telling you, they're rapping half the time. Yes, there are things that people talk about in real life. But if you're gonna use lyrics, you have to take into account like, is did they really mean this? Yeah. Did this really happen? Was it a dream? So Was it an idea? Did someone else write so it? You kind of don't like that it's being used in court. Songwriter? No, I don't. Okay, so you're against. I don't. Okay. It's crazy. Okay, I had to ask you that. Like, I was curious. It's about crazy. It. If you're directly like, there has to be a line. There have to be standards. You know what I mean? There has I agree. to be like, I agree. okay, if I say like directly, I killed so and so, or I shot such and such, or I robbed. Gucci store like whatever it is yeah. and there's a, and that's what the thing is it's fine but otherwise 
You don't think it should be used for court? No, I because you don't know who wrote that line. You right. don't know where they got inspired And there's people from. that do. Right, you don't right, know what they were right, thinking right. about that day. Fact, Artists fact, are fact, creative. Fact, right, they right. literally create things. Like, you thought, like, I don't know. I don't know what people say. I only listen to like Nicki Minaj and Lil Baby. Like, I don't really, I listen to my own artists yeah. besides like, you know, what I love. Right. But other than that, it's just like, you can say anything anyway, any day. It shouldn't be used in court, but they still do it. Right. All right. Next question. What's your take on cancel culture? Do you think it's a toxic trend or do you think it's a form of accountability? I think it's both that's a great question really it's both yeah Yeah. okay because if you say something or do something that's so ridiculous that there has to be a cancel culture even question in someone's head it's just like yeah i don't know let me investigate why is it a toxic trend to you because it's it's getting out of hand like it's getting out of hand everybody's canceled for everything like who defines what's like it's just crazy Apparently and then people, the people i just care about mental health i just care about like you're really ruining these people's yeah. mental health no yeah Facts. aaron carter i love yeah. aaron carter that was my that was my first yeah. little crush in like the second grade i know you know and then i discovered usher yeah but that's a different story um but like that shit is really heavily the internet yeah. It's heavily bad. And the way people do it, they're so brutal. It's hard. And it's very mean. The kids, hard. the yeah. kids are even involved on this. There are kids who are nine years old and they're having suicidal ideation. Like, we need to address this. Yeah. That's like, it's not talking And it's about right out, exactly, it's right out in the open. We're, we're like, it's on a music video. You see, blah, 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 but like, nobody's actually. Oh, y'all got me on my soapbox. <laughs> This is not the court of public opinion. I'm sorry. All right, now to the dating question. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. I wonder who's on here. What's the best piece of advice, dating advice, you've ever received? Oh, I wish I could tell you I've received good dating advice. So you have it. Maybe I wouldn't be in the positions I've been in. Okay, so we're gonna skip that question. Uh, or do you want to answer it? Um, I feel like the best dating advice is to focus on you and what's best for you. Yes. Okay. Put you first. In every in every relationship, it's still about you. Okay. First, most importantly, priority. And if you're not okay, then you can investigate the rest. What's your idea of a perfect date? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm a very romantic girl. You're a Virgo. Sorry. I'm know. a Virgo. I love love. I love you know all the cute stuff, flowers and balloons. I love balloons. So just surprise me. I love being surprised. You know, my sister surprised me with my birthday party and that was amazing. But like, just do thoughtful things that surprise me. I love surprises too. Me. Not many people like surprises. I'm a, spo- I'm a spoiler. Okay. So if you could spoil me. Sure you love it. It's just like, ah. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I love you, baby. Okay. What, what qualities do you look for in a partner? Oh. Oh. <laughs> qualities what qualities do you look for in a partner oh man you have to be intelligent i'm tired so would you say you're a sapo sexual yes when i can talk to somebody like you understand what i'm talking about and i understand what you're talking about but it's a completely different thing like it doesn't even have to be like you're a doctor or you're a lawyer or you know whatever it could be like you could be a deep sea fucking diver right and just be very intelligent and you know like no the kilometers shit. and the the milligrams and all the things i'm just like teach me more okay so intelligence is important for you yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't like that i need to sit no, 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 don't be, don't be, don't be. Okay, what's a deal breaker for you when it comes to dating? Oh, goodness. No baby mama drama. Oh, no. Don't bring that over wait, wait, here. So We're not doing that. Are you okay that. with dating a guy with kids? Yes, oh, but if okay this with drama, it? bro, I'm so grown. I don't have time to be fighting over a bitch. I've been fighting because of someone else's bitch for how so you've been long. in a situation where you dated a guy with kids you have to deal with the baby mom oh my god every every female that i know that is related to someone that i love yeah or date dated somebody i love or like even is remotely like this close to that person i'm always just 
public enemy number one, and I just, I just am here. Have you ever fought a baby bump? Yes. What? <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you, you get, really? Yes! Oh my god, what? I used what to be crazy. I used to be crazy. It was back in the day. Story time! So what happened, girl? Okay, so my pinky's still broken to this day. Wait, it is? My pinky's oh, I see it! This one? Yeah, girl. It got a little... A little... Does it hurt? Yeah, sometimes. Wow. This was like... Seven years ago. Eight years ago. But what caused the fight? Because, okay, I went to go. It's really all my ex's fault. There's really no reason for me to have It's the man's this fault. Young lady. I don't even. She's not a, a young lady. She's not a lady at all. But there was no reason for me to fight her because it's really just him. That's it at the end of the day. If he go cheat, cheat he's going to cheat. It doesn't matter who it is. It's just like. So he was being if you If you want to be down with that and you want to date somebody who's cheating on you and that's cool with you, do you, boo. I don't. That's not my business anymore. Because oh you try to interrupt and you try to be like, yo, sis, I just saw your man with blah, blah, blah. And then you become the enemy. Bitch, I don't have time for that. You go do what you do, and if you love, and if you need him, and if you want him, and that's your baby, yeah. then go do that. If I want to decide that I'm okay with that, that's cool too. But it's not anybody else's, like. That's crazy though, the pinky, wow. Yes, but anyway, so I am having a midlife crisis. My my first boyfriend had passed away. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, I was in law school, some really unfortunate, like, fucked up things happened to me. And my doctor's like, you gotta withdraw from law school. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> absolutely not. Right, and graduated. And then, right, and then at the same time, my boyfriend at the time got someone pregnant. And then on top of getting someone pregnant, he also was dating someone else that was in his mother's house while his mother is like, hi baby, I miss you, I love you. And I'm just like, oh no, I got a little rental car. I drove from Florida to Pennsylvania. How long was that to drive? 17 hours. By yourself? By myself. And I didn't tell nobody. I just did it. So what is that like, that road trip? Do you stop at like different places? Yes. Yeah, so I grew up in Florida, but my family's always in Pittsburgh. So we were always back and forth. So yeah. my dad would be like, two o'clock in the morning, get in the car, we're leaving. And he'll just car carry me to the car and I'll sleep the whole way, wake up in fucking South Carolina. That's you know crazy. what I mean? I've never and we been would, on a road trip. That's what, way. like, that's so East Coast. People don't do that here. Like, I would, I would do that trip like once a month if I wanted to. I think the farthest I drove was from here to the Bay. And that's, yeah. That is kind of far. That is Being far. in LA, I look at that as far. Yeah, but being yeah. over there, it's just like, from I used Soul to do Cal, all North Cal. Like that. That's the farthest drive I've ever done. I've never done like the whole, like. Stuff. I drove from Florida to LA when I moved here. That's great. And how long is that drive? Three days. Wow. By Three yourself? Days. No, it was me, my boyfriend at the time, and my mom. Okay, so you were by yourself. My mom slept. She deserved the rest. We yeah. love that. But I, it's like Florida, Orlando, yeah. no, Tampa to Houston, 12 hours. Damn, at my uncle's that's a house. long ass drive. I mean, yeah, shit. sleep at my aunt's house. We did that shit straight. And then you go from Houston to El Paso where my uncle lived, yeah. drove 12 hours straight. That's how big Texas is. And then from El Paso to LA, another Texas 12 hours. Huge. huge. Yes. But the first wow. thing I did when I pulled up here, we went to the, to the taco truck. I know that's where I even got my keys to my apartment. <laughs> Gotta stop by a taco truck. Got to. I had my eye on it from Instagram for a long time. I was ready to move. Okay, last question, then we're gonna move on. Are you from Florida too? I don't know when that was. Who, Ross Swagger? Yeah. No, he's from Philadelphia. He said I did that PA. He's from Philly. ATL. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, he's from Philly. I've been to Philly once. Yes? Do you like Ooh. Philly? I'm um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why don't you like Philly? I'm from Pittsburgh. It's like it's like a, a thing. Oh, okay, it's, it's a like a thing, you know. See, I wouldn't know. I'm a West Coast girl. I'm from Inglewood. Like you I know? was born with the Steelers in my blood, so it's just like he's a big Steelers fan. Okay, then huge. We can be friends. But I still don't huge like Philly. Steelers fan. His dad's from Pitt. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's where like that's the area that my stepdad is having my sister's baby brother right now. That's crazy. In that exact area. That's crazy. So are you gonna fly out to see the baby? I think we'll have to. Yeah. I don't know when because my sister just had a baby here too. Yeah. So I'm like niece city. I'm <laughs> telling you, I got three babies this year. That has to be like good. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go see baby Jaden. Baby Jaden. I love that. I did. Yeah. Okay. 
so that concludes our hot topic question. Are you killed it, girl. Yes. Okay, guys. So to hell with the steel. Fuck you. Who's that? Shank. He's Wait, canceled. Shank. So He's canceled. Wait, what's his team? Who do you like, Shank? Football. Oh, he's a Saints fan. Okay, so Hubby. The Saints just fucking lost today. They did. It was horrible. The Saints just fucking lost today. Brutal. First of all, I seen that game. It was brutal. So Hubby, Drake, Who that? Shank they lost. All. Who that? They, they lost. Anyway, Saints fan. Next. That was um. That was right, guys. smoother than expected. Okay, so I want to talk about this Halloween party, but before I do, before I do, here's a message from my sponsors. Cozy Talk is brought to you by Always Together Management, your partner in every transaction. Safido Candle Company, where our candles are made with love. Tequila Mandala, award-winning small batch premium tequila. Sip Mandala. California Hot Tubs in Marina Del Rey. Tell them Koozie Talk sent you and get 10% off your own koozie. Yes. All right, guys. So I want to talk about this Halloween party that we're throwing on Halloween, which is on a Thursday. Yes. Siren Halloween party. And I want to show you a little sizzle reel that we haven't showed anyone. This is an exclusive just for y'all. Yes. Here's Siren, guys. Yes, okay. We gotta talk about mermaids. Come on. Because now yes, let's we gotta talk bring about that. mermaids. So you guys that. make sure if you're in LA on Halloween and you're looking for something to do, come join us. Yes, we're gonna have a party, we're gonna have a good old time. And and she's coming. We too. outside. Ashley's gonna be there. We outside. We outside. And y'all yes. know my favorite exercise and shaking my hands. I know that's right. And you get tickets exclusively on Eventbrite or on CoozyTalk.com. Yes. All right. So now we're going to go into the mood segment. Oops. Yeah. Oops. I'm excited. Here's the mood segment, guys. All right. So, girl, what time are you on? Are you on angel time? Are you on demon time? I feel like it would be uh, responsible of me to pick the halo time. <laughs> She's an angel. I am. Sent from above. Oh, this is cute. Yes, halo. Okay. I might First have to get halo a new uh, Halloween costume. Wait, who's Ross blocking me? Block? Who's blocking me? Me? You You're blocking me? Cause you what picked Halo. Ha ha! What did I do? Okay, anyways. All right. right. What Haters. is your... Okay, so you know all the love languages? Yes, there's okay. five. All right, cool. What is your love language? Oh, you want to rank them? Yes. Okay, from most Gifts. important or at least... Important. Gifts, physical touch. Is that the most important? Yes. Okay. Gifts, Gifts, physical touch. Physical touch. Um, acts of service. Okay. Quality time. Damn, this fast. Awesome. Words of affirmation. Bitch, you could tell me whatever. I heard it. I love words of affirmation. I need to hear it. Yes, like, if you me. love me, I need to hear it. But like but that's, that's not really one. gonna be like because I hear yeah. I hear a lot of shit. But number one is gifts. Why? Because okay, so growing up, me and my daddy, my amazing father, who is wonderful. Yeah. Um, we had a very rough relationship being his only child and his only daughter. Um, he raised me by himself, like really did that. And here I am. 
Um, his love language was gifts. He didn't really know how to show other emotions. Okay. He's from a third world country, like military. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just not in his language to do emotions. Okay. So gifts is What's his thing. Gift. Okay. And that's what I received. That was like, aw, he does love me. You know? Yeah. And then other times it would just be like, damn, I just need a hug and a kiss. So I feel like, you know, it's, you grow up and it's what you got. Yeah, yeah. That you, you associate with love or what you needed that you associated with love. Like, being a, a teenage girl growing up with just your dad, like, watch one on one. Like, I love you it. You know, show. watch one on one. But it's, it's difficult. And he really did his shit because I was a teenager when he was like my age right now. Aww. And that's terrifying. <laughs> Wait, so I saw the poll and everybody thought that you were going to pick demon. Why? I look like a demon, y'all. I believe in Jesus. <gasps> Hi, babe. Oh, we got first time in the chat. Are you talking about this one? Theo mm -hmm. Tommy. Welcome. Theo Tommy K. Mm -hmm. Is that your Theo? No. Oh, that's his name. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an acronym. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, so next question. What's the most memorable first day you've ever had? Woo, in a good way or a bad way? I mean, you have a halo on, so I don't know. It depends on you, whatever you want to answer. Hmm. My most memorable most day. Most memorable day. Damn, is that sad? I can't even think of anything. No, because it wasn't memorable. Woo. So we're gonna put a pin on that one. <laughs> Y'all must have not did nothing for me because I can't blank. Okay. What's the cheesiest pickup line someone has ever used on you and did? Oh, I know the answer to this one. It, it did just happen. Okay. Fuck no. Uh -huh. Don't be corny, bro. Don't be weird. Like, <sighs> what was the line, girl? So I got on this app. Don't get on the app. I woke up with thirty-seven plus hundred likes. Thirty-seven hundred. Okay. I'm stressed out. Okay. But they you want to share the app or you want to keep it disclosed? I'm going to keep it disclosed. I don't okay. want to give y'all the sauce. Okay, okay, okay. So what happened gone, on this app? Y'all not catch me what, slipping. What happened on this app? 3,700 plus likes. Okay. I'm stressed out. Okay. But people would go to my Instagram because it was connected. Okay. So this man slid in my DMs and said, roses are red, this set is blue. You know what he said? No, it oh. went on. It went on. Oh, do you Rose remember? Red, the set was blue. You want me to pull it up? Yes, I'm, I'm curious. curious. But, Cause I want to know the rest. Where was he going with it? He said that's funny as fuck. <laughs> like, it wasn't funny. Where was it going? I want to know. Did it work? What happens after the set? Okay, 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 okay. I got. If I don't see your message, I promise it's Instagram. It's not me. I really try. I really try. But a lot of shit goes to my wasteland. Okay. And it takes me. There's a lot of shit in here. So read us this okay. poem. Because he clearly wrote you a poem. He did. He did. He did. Oh, no. Is this it? Oh, there's. No, there's too many. I sent it to someone, though. I'm so curious. It says. Roses are red, the set is blue. Baby, this crip, and I'm rocking with you. We gonna hustle and motivate like oh, Lauren and Nick, crip. baby. Bang my line. Bang my line. Yeah, no, that wasn't it. But you know, <laughs> he tried. It was creative. <laughs> okay, one he point. Was a crip. Did you copy and paste that to everyone you ever met? Probably. Also, because you didn't just think about that to talk to me. <laughs> That's really cool. And it's just like, you see an attorney on my profile. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm so not you didn't respond. I'm not looking for a sugar daddy. I'm not going to lie to you. I am what no, I am. No, you're the you lawyer, girl. You make it the you point. Are. You know you what I mean? That. So it's like, I am what I am. But you talking about you're this and you're that. So, Woo. You, so you left them on scene. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> You go respect this crippy. I'm crying. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? No, for real. Bio. No, for real. For real. Oh, my God. Listen, follow. I have a spam page. Shh. It's a secret. It's called Why Is You Here, Ho? What is it called? I post Why Is You Here, Ho? That is hilarious. I post 
like the shit that people be saying to me because it really is just pure entertainment. You wouldn't believe the people that's with me. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> it was a social experiment. It was a social experiment. What was? The app. Oh, the app. The app. Oh! Oh, yeah. It was it? I mean, I mean, yeah. I think all dating apps are. Okay. Do you think it's important for a couple to have a matching sense of humor? You gotta put Y like W H Y. But yes, the rest is correct. I'm sorry, baby. What was the question I was being rude? He's distracting me. I said, do you think it's important for a couple to have a matching sense of humor? Yes, Why? absolutely. Because listen, my ex, he was just, he, at some point he just got annoying to me because why are you laughing? Like you get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> What what is possibly funny? You, you just pissed me off. Okay, but if you're mad and he's laughing, then that's not a matching sense of humor. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't like that. I want to be wrong. Like I'm literally. You know how we be laughing? Like I'll like I'm crying over here. I'm doing the dash over here. I'm running away. I'm slapping you. Like yeah. We're just on the same level, but at a point, like if yeah. you're just annoying, if you're corny. If, like, I'm not gonna be laughing and you gonna piss me off. Don't piss me off. And then you're gonna cuss them out. Yes, because you never be corny. See, <laughs> Tommy says, Ash look good. Thank you, baby. Hard eyes. Um, she's blushing. Okay, last question and we're gonna move on. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you should ask someone else. Yes, I do. Really? I do. Okay, why? You just be knowing sometimes. Wait, so like, have you ever like, does that have you really? At first glance, you fell in love. What What made you fall in love with them at first glance? You, I had no idea. But it was just something. It was like I just have to be. And what happened me. with this connection? Did anything happen? I still love him. He still loves me. You know, he gonna tell me happy birthday. He gonna send me a little cash app. You know, um, but we're just in two different worlds. So what do you feel when you fall in love at first sight? I'm just curious. I never had anybody say that they actually it happened. That it's real? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Um, you just be like, you can't really explain it. You can't really explain it. But it was a mutual? True loves and soulmates are real. Like there are okay. people in this world that you are naturally gravitating towards at some point in some world, in some aspect, like you're going to find them. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's just like this connection that you can't, you can't really make it up. And if it's not that, like, I don't want to continue to speak to you. So that's what that gives away. Wow, I've never had anybody say that. Yeah, no, seriously. And that was, that was, um, 2011. So I was a junior back. in high school. That was a while back. And he just told me happy birthday. We tried to get back together again a year or two or something ago, but like, I'm it's sorry. Exciting. We're just in different worlds. Are you okay? But in that world, that would be me, you know? I'm just curious, and it, it, it's okay if you don't want to share. What is the sign? A Leo, just like my daddy. Two days apart. Okay. A Leo. Yeah. That's the. Listen. Leos, they're different. And Virgos, they're different. But you guys are kind of compatible. It's real. Yeah, it's real. You guys are compatible. So it's either like really good or really up in flames. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move on. We're gonna go to my favorite game, the Wheel of Fame, and you Ooh. killed the mood segment. Yes. <laughs> but before we go to the Wheel of Fame, I have to hit you with a disclaimer. Wheel of Fame disclaimer. Koozie Talk guests are asked to spin the wheel featuring various notable public figures and choose one from the option that has to go, as in their careers never existed. Please note that the statements and choices made by our guests during this segment are their own personal opinions and preferences and do not reflect the views or opinions of the Koozie Talk podcast, its hosts, producers, or affiliates. The Koozie Talk podcast does not endorse or promote any negative sentiments or intentions towards any of the entities mentioned during the game. This segment is intended for entertainment purposes only and is meant to be a light-hearted and fun activity for our guests and listeners. Thank you for watching and enjoying the Koozie Talk podcast responsibly. All right, guys, so now we're going to go to the moon segment. I mean, no. The Will of Fame. We love fame. We love fame. We love fame. Damn! 
now. <laughs> okay. Don't forget the goddamn segments. It's okay. That's how you know that. You Shout out good. to Kilo Mandala, Sip Mandala. You did good. And this too. <laughs> okay, so now my beautiful guest is gonna spin the wheel, and one has to go. One Ooh. never existed. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm okay. Nervous. What is it gonna land on? Oh my on? god, I just looked over here and I Girl, it's land. listen, it shows no mercy. <laughs> Alright, spin. Give it a good one. Okay. All right, page. so I stalked her that? page. I stalked her page. I do I do that with all my guests. So then that way I can customize the wheel a bit. And it landed on one. Oh my gosh, is this is it funny? <laughs> is there places that she's been? So we got the Dominican Republic, we got St. Kitts, and we have Turks and Caicos. Okay. One has to go, girl. Which one has to go? I fell in love with Turks and Caicos. You did. You see, you see what I mean. Was that the blood at first sight? Was it? Um, okay, so one has to go. Dominican Republic is where? Oh my god. I'm St. Kitts? I'm such a simp. Okay. Um, how was St. Kitts? St. Kitts was fucking beautiful, but it's only like one thing to do. And there was a man, he was a little bit slow. I pray for him. Uh -huh. He was adorable. So sweet. We're petting monkeys and stuff. We're having a great time. Monkeys are jumping all over us. And then he wants to talk to us about his penis. What? And he's like, you know, he just works on the island. This is just, you know, well, why on the beach and the about his penis? And it was like, not like ridiculous, but we're like, Okay. That was my entire experience of St. Kitts because he went around with us for the whole time we were at the fucking beach. So would you say St. Kitts has to go? Yes, and St. Kitts, uh, there's more monkeys than people. Really? The monkeys overpopulate the monkeys. I mean, the people. Really? And if anybody is St. Kitts, I apologize and I love you. But out of the three, it has to go. I wouldn't go back. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I would go back. Wow. Turks and Caicos, I will go back tomorrow. And well, I heard it's a vibe over there. Two months later. If, if anybody go to Turks and Caicos, let me know. And what I part of you. the Dominican Republic did you go to? Punta Cana. Yes. Yeah, so My daddy has a timeshare. Everybody goes to Punta Cana. Okay, so everybody said, oh, St. Kitts. Okay, I guess gotta go. The chat agrees. Yeah. All right, spin again. Again, okay. Oh, we're gonna do a few rounds. I'm nervous. Oh, oh yes, and she we have some. Want to go round? Oh, guys. rounds, rounds. Yes. Wait, I gotta do it. Yeah. Well, whatever side you feel comfortable. Um, here we go again. Bra swagger. It says your name. <laughs> oh. I love that we got this one because she's a lawyer. Oh, so we have like really high profile cases. One has to go. We got the OJ Simpson trial. We have the Michael Jackson trial. And then we have the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial, which that trial was crazy. It was ridiculous. That it trial was, was insane. Ridiculous. Like okay, so one has to go. Like in terms of what? Like one just never existed. Oh God. Well, if we could erase it, I would erase Michael Jackson's trial. I agree. So no one ever, like, this wasn't a thing. Right. Because I feel like... He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't agree. know. I have this argument about separating the artist from the acts. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Um, and it, it makes me sad. I don't know. I'm such a fucking crybaby. I'm a crybaby gangster. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna always talk some shit, but, like, I'm really crybaby. Like, and Michael was a Virgo like you. Exactly. He's All right. Genius. So we're gonna spin again. She says Michael. The Michael trial. Ask her if she, oh my God. Y'all love to ask me about this. Oh, ask her if that applies to Diddy. Okay. You have to. Okay, that wasn't my question. That was the live chat question. You, what would you say about that to girl? To a certain degree, you have to separate the man from the monster. You know what I mean? Like you can't discredit 30 years of creative genius. You can't discredit the, the millionaire, billionaire mogul. Like you can't discredit the magic that was made. Like just like you can't discredit Suge Knight. Like, I, listen, 
I grew up on the East Coast, but I've been like infatuated with Tupac's life and story Absolutely. since I was like Same. 12. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like a lot of people said a lot of shit about him. Right. You know, who right. knows where we would be today? Right. He got shot on my birthday, on my second birthday. That's, I carry that with me. Yeah. No, I put <laughs> that. was my man. <laughs> uh, but you really do sometimes. And it took me a while to come around to it with like the R. Kelly situation, but like that's honey another love, one that's tough. Honey love, oh. I'm never gonna skip that song. I'm never gonna skip that song. I mean, and I have personal relationships with some people that like you hear shit about, and it's just like that wasn't my experience. No, I feel and that. And this may be that. be a canceling conversation. That's what I'm saying. This is a controversial topic because it like, is that nobody ever showed me anything but love and respect. But maybe I demanded different respect. Maybe I wasn't in the same, you know, time frame. Everybody's you know? different way. With some I people. don't know. So yeah, I'm yeah. not going to speak on negative things that I don't know that happened. No, no, totally, totally. All right, we're going to spin again. I don't know. Just me. No, I feel that. Definitely. Yeah, you see? I'm from Pittsburgh. It's close enough to New York. I know it's hot, but like... I know. No, that is, that is a tough one. That is a tough one. Yeah. All right, we're going to spin again. Oh! Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, it's the same one. They you gotta spin it again. You gotta spin it again. Until right, so we get a new one. This one's gonna be very good. So we have rappers. We have Lil Baby, Ooh. Future, and Travis Scott. One career never existed. Do you hear this, Shay? <laughs> I told you, it's the will of stress. She knows on me. Um, Travis Scott gotta go. What? I don't understand how he just won the Hip Hop Icon Award. He's, He's amazing. He still canceled to me. Cancel culture is real. I'm sticking with it. Why I'm is for he the canceled? people, I'm for the kids. I'm part of, I'm, I'm not. But like, I'm on the side of the people that suing him for the motherfucking shit oh. that's still not even solved. Like, oh yeah, that's that and yeah. not address. Like, that's yeah. like, and cancel again. This is gonna be like Diddy should get award an award right now for doing something. No, he shouldn't. Right, 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 right. Oh man. Okay, no one more time. Love baby staying. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that though. Little baby staying. You know, I know you love little baby. We're gonna spin one more and then we're gonna move on. Yeah, dude. Um. I keep like slipping and sliding everywhere. Girl, I told you to see how that's why I have that. that jet smart woman you're such a smart woman you gotta do it again bro it loves There's you no that one loves you keep There's planning no on way. it oh so we have a, a a manager one so we got tour money endorsement money or royalties as a manager Ooh. one has to go shit one has to go, like we can't have that anymore. We can't have that no more. Tour money, endorsement deals, or royalties? Hmm. I'll say endorsements. Really? Yeah. Some endorsements are millions of dollars. Where I am right now is just like the, the contact and the product is more important than the... Cause I know tour money's good. Like, I don't want to deal with Gatorade right now. Like, I want to go to Royalties, countries this year and have yeah, royalties and tour money. And royalties, you just wake up from sleeping like, yeah, hey, you make like, money, hey, we sleep. got some money. I feel that. You, you know, it's a good answer, actually. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Royalties from are yeah, genius no, that, that you already created and put together. <laughs> okay, so that concludes the Will of Fame, and she killed it. And she, you didn't skip any, I don't think. No, you didn't. You answered them all. Listen, Fair my listen. my pap used to tell me he smokes one cigarette a day because he doesn't want to quit because he's not a quitter. I know that's right. I'm not a quitter. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so now we're going to go to the last segment. <laughs> and we're going to do two truths and a lie. I don't love R. Kelly. First of all, don't ever put nothing in my mouth. I do not <laughs> love R. Kelly. I said I love Pop the song Swift. Honey Love and Chocolate Pop Factory. Swift. I literally spoke Goodbye, for 20, 27 minutes on how you have to separate the man from the music sometimes. Exactly. But it's but fine. It's okay. We're not going to entertain that. We're going to go to I'm Who Truths and Allied? You want answers. I want the 
truth. You can't handle the truth. For the lie detective determined that was a lie. <laughs> He must not be in the industry because he don't know people really cap and they raps or their bitches write their their raps or their man writes their raps. Okay, they're trolling. Okay, all right. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, always. Yes. Oh, maybe not. Okay, you. <gasps> I mean, it's okay. I'll smoke while you think. No, it's okay. You ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. Hit me or hit us because you guys gotta help me. All right, girl. Two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. <laughs> Hmm. So, I studied at Oxford University. Okay. Um. Hmm. The only person I haven't seen perform live is Drake. Okay. For some reason. Okay. And. Fuck, I should have prepared better. It's okay. Um, well, y'all don't know if I told you a truth or a lie first. We don't know yet. What's the third one? Um, the third one is I majored in political science, and that's somewhere I probably want to go next. Okay. Talk. What do you guys think the lie is? The first one is she studied at Oxford University. Mm -hmm. The second one is she's never seen Drake in concert. And the third one was again? Damn, you can't run it back on me like that. Cause I forgot, real quick. What was the third one? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh yeah, she majored in political science. Yeah. Damn, how you gonna do that to me? Oh, I look like I also, a liar. you remember, cause I forgot for a split second. And now y'all look like a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. No, I'm not, well. I'm not. No, I'm not that lit, I'm not that lit. I know I glitched up a couple times, but no. No, we're doing great. I think I'm so having too. a great time. Cheers. Cheers! What, with the flamingo? What I ran out. Oh, you need a refill. <laughs> it's okay. This is my friend. Um. Okay, so wait, we're guessing, we're guessing. Okay, guys, help me, help Drake, me. Drake, Drake, Poli Sci, and now I don't remember the first one, bro. Did you went to Oxford University? I went to Oxford University. In in England, Oxford University. In England, tell me. Dímelo. What say you, chat? Dímelo, mommy. Y'all are y'all supposed to answer? You guys are not helping right now. They forgot too. It's okay. No, I, we said it like a million times. Mm -hmm. She went to school in Oxford in England. She majored in poli sci. And shit. Damn! <laughs> we can't remember the second one. Yo, we're trash. <laughs> Drake. No. Oh yeah, yeah. You never seen Drake in concert. I've never seen Drake. In okay, what's the lie? What the fuck? Yeah, no, yeah, for? the England one. You know what? I'm just gonna answer. <laughs> goddamn it. Whatever. I think the lie is Oxford in England. I have studied in at Oxford Fuck! University. So what was the lie? <laughs> the lie was poli sci. I, I was gonna go with that, but it's believable. I would never go into politics. No, e. no, but 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 e. like, a lot of politicians are lawyers. Cookie said wrong. So it's see y'all both. Y'all both got it wrong. Damn. Listen, Cookie see, knew. I shouldn't listen to Ross Swagger. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I, 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 I like where you were going with I'm this. I, I like, like you where you're going with this. Damn. Uh, it's okay. That's what I get for listening I'm to I'm a very, like, intricate, diverse individual. You never know. You know? That's why I didn't go with Polly Sign. <laughs> That's what the vibe was giving. Like, a lot of politicians are lawyers. So it's believable. Damn, I lost. I'm going to up my column. I think I got the last one right. Last one. Yeah. All right, that concludes Two Truths and a Lie. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely got it wrong. Wah, wah, wah. It's okay. It's but okay. I'm so happy you came on Cookie Talk. You were amazing. I had such a good time. Me I too. love you. Oh. So and we got to turn up for Halloween. Yes. Thank you for coming on Cookie Talk. I love you guys. I'm going to be at the party. And is. We're both going to be there turning up. Guess my costume if you want to. That concludes Cookie Talk.
Smoothie Talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you guys for joining in the chat. You guys were amazing. We're going to throw up our hearts, Ashley. Throw up your hearts, girl. Yes. The red hearts are going to come out. No, you got to hold it longer. Oh, that was cute, though. I know. You just got to hold it longer. There it is. <laughs> love you guys. Love Thank you girl. for watching. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave us a comment below. And to ensure you never miss out on our latest episodes, click that subscribe button now. See you next time on Koozie Talk. Bye. Koozie Talk.